Right, so I'm going to show how to embed it in, uh, a nut into a 3D print on this little sample piece here. As you can see here, I have a metal nut inside there. And I use the Cura software and the MP Select Mini here as a 3D printer. And this is just an example here. You can do all kinds of things. But I'm showing quick how I do this with the software and how do I get this in there in the right moment. It's a cool thing to, uh, to do. Okay, so we are going to embed a nut. And what we need to find is the software, the Ultimaker Cura. software. This is this one here. And so the Cura software So our 3D software created this STL file that goes into the Cura software and then the Cura software is generating the G-code. Yeah, let me put this here to the trash can. So we have our test object and I want to add it here. <coughs> does that work? It does. Look. Okay, so here's our test object. Let me zoom into this. Does that work? Wow. Okay, so can I move in here? So this is my test object. Okay, and I want to embed a nut in the middle of it. So if I go here to the layer view, I can scroll through the layers. Okay, so we have a brim here for, for one, and then we are printing, and in the print is room for a nut here. And then we print, print, print. And then we close the nut up on top here. And you basically, when you're done, you can put your screw, your, uh, screw in here. And inside here is the nut then. Well, if you can see that. I'm going to go down here. This is where the nut is. In here, in this hole. Yeah, when you print up, 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 and then in there, in here, we put the nut in the metal nut. And uh, when we make this, we're going to look when do we close it up, right? So if we would put it in here, the head, when it is printing, it would get in conflict with it. So if we see and look at the print simulation here, you see where it would print here. When you put the nut in now, then the print head would hit it. I mean, we kind of want to avoid this kind of thing, right? So we need to go up in a higher layer to do this. So the, I thought the best thing would be if we look what which one will close. So there's the closing one, the 74. 73 not, but 74 is the one what's closing. So when we print the 73rd layer, that's when we uh, have to insert the nut. Okay. In order to do this, we need to convert this to G-code first, and I'm going to do this here quick. Save file. Oh, I'm going to go in my desktop and save it there. Okay, and then I can basically close my Ultimaker here. There is my G-code, and the G-code I can open with a tool called Text Wrangler. I'm on the Mac here, but any uh, text editor will work. WordPad on PC or what? Take this in here and we take a look at it, right? So, we have one thing here. We have 106 layers. We're going to go to 74. Find layer 74. So this is here the layer 74. And then what we do is we just add code. We say M117 to make a pause. 
L0, E0. This puts the... This is basically what it is, is a, um, a filament change. So it takes the head out of the way so that we can access the our object. So we do save. Now we just close and save this. But why, why, why? We want to leave it as is. What is happening with it here? Come on, why untitled text? Because it imported text. Not with me. We have to open it different. Open with text wrangler. So we find layer 74 here and we insert M117 L0 E0 like this. And then we close this file and say save. Okay, so now it changed it in here. And this one is what we feed to the printer and then let's take a look at the printer how this prints like and then uh, what's coming out of it at the end. There we go. So we had 65% in our print. And here is the nut we want to embed. We have in the total of 106 layers we have, we divide this by 100 and multiply it with the layer we want to stop, that's layer 74. So at 68.8% this thing should stop drive the, the hair to the side and then we should have access to our object there so that we can insert the nut before it covers that cavity, before it closes it up, right? And this M117 code there and the G code that is meant to change... Oh, here, see, it stopped. Oh, there, there it goes to the side. Now we have time to insert our nut. Look at this. Get my screw out in time. It's actually, it's holding and waiting for my manual input here. See, it says unpause. I have to click the button. And then it's going to continue. This is what it did. There's a little bit irregularities there in the filament. I have to see how I can film this here with my camera to get in closer that you can see it, right? But you see the nut in there, and now it's filling it up like nicely. But it's looking good. Not too bad. Yeah. So I don't want to wait here forever. So the whole piece here, it's just a demo piece, it takes 20 minutes to print. I use this glow in the dark filament. Here, this is one of the last steps. It covered it up. No, no. No, I'm just trying this with the light on on the camera so that you can see a little bit better. That is like at 70% or It has to print a little bit more. And then let's look at the end piece there. It is done now. Look at it. There we go. Look at it. There it is. Um, embedded nut in the plastic piece. So once you practice on those small little pieces, then it will be relatively easy for you to do the same thing with more complex pieces you need, where you need a nut and there, a screw in there. I could make the upper hole there round if I wanted to, but I didn't want to at the time. There was too much trouble, but, you know, however you make the model is a different story.